doing a build out here for a platform bed in a transit that these machined, rounded off using an existing threaded bolt hole. And we'll use a plus nut for this attachment on both sides. So if you're not familiar with plus nuts, here's one of those. It's pre-bulbed, meaning it will collapse. And this is a rib nut. They come in different sizes depending on the thickness of the material that you are fastening to. This one would be a little bit thinner, it's shorter. But basically what you're gonna do is you're going to drill through your surface with like a 23-64 drill bit. You're gonna go ahead and insert the rib nut and you can make a tool just out of a bolt washer and you're gonna put your wrench on here tighten this down and what it does is it collapses behind the surface it's also known as a blind fastener so then you have something to attach to it'll sandwich out it'll pancake behind the metal and it gives pretty good support for projects such as these I recommend the plus nut because it offers more of a clamping surface when you compare it to a rib nut. But for some reason, these are a little bit more difficult to find at your hardware stores. You might have to go online to get those. We're gonna have to tap into this for another one. See what's behind here. the back side of that panel so here we go got these attached to the van using plus nuts or rivet nuts got some rear window insulation and privacy also got the other in place right across the way at the same height is this one this one was in an odd shape so I actually had to drill a hole to get on the back side and of course we have the other side so what we'll do is we'll take a aluminum cross here probably 80 20 or some sort of aluminum I've also made platform beds out of wood that work well also so that's how it's shaping up solid have an open space over here to the right for bicycles and storage three and a half or four inch leg screws for added support so now for these leg bolts we're going to use a speed bore to go ahead and make a way for that head of the bolt So here we have a platform that can be easily removed and we'll have a four foot sleeping surface and this measures 
71 inches in length. It's a good night's sleep coming to anybody that is around six foot or less. Perhaps if you're taller, it still may work for you. Wife allows this. This would be the next step. Perhaps bring it indoors where the temperatures are warm. So we can lay some carpet down over this. We'll be smelling up the house a little bit using indoor outdoor carpet adhesive. Troweling this on. Make it look nice. Trim to fit. It makes a nice finished product. It looks good. I've done this same thing here in a couple other vehicles, uh, cargo trailer. It's really economical for what it is. $100, $150. And it serves the purpose. Once the adhesive is on there, we'll put the carpet on. Perhaps you have a roller, probably, if you used any type of sound deadener in your van, such as Noiko or Dynamat, you will not most likely need a roller like this. So, had a leftover from soundproofing my van. T50 stapler, throw a few staples in here and there just to hold while that glue sets up, helps out. So I'm putting a dowel through the two by fours to hang clothes and tools and such. Again, using the speed bore drill bit and with the tight clearance here, this came in handy. How does it work? It's working pretty good. How it's holding? It. It's a holding 85 pounds. Okay. Well, now I got to try it. Okay. <laughs> well, I can't hold the camera to me. Oh yeah, it's nice and solid. Okay, so we're some ventilation. Throw a mattress on this, so there'll be about four or five inches of extra cush. And what we'll do here is we'll take a board across here. And that will keep all of the bins and everything in the back from sliding when you stop and everything. There's two by mounted in here. Hey, it's better than a tent in some ways. <laughs> so yeah, this looks pretty, pretty legit, doesn't it? I think. I like it, it's pretty simple, inexpensive. Like a boss, yo. <laughs> hang clothes back here, hang some utility, uh, extension cords. And of course, if you wanna get up in the morning and you're like, oh man, I need to get my pump on, right? You can do some uh, right? <laughs> get that blood pump and get stretched out and of course throw down some mattress right here plenty of room back here for someone to sleep so you got one one up top probably and we can build this out build another uh, foot or so right here and we can cover that up it's super easy and you can sleep two up here so that completes the, the van bed on a budget for a transit. Pretty sweet. Use the porta potty, the lugaloo if you have to. Privacy now. Keep that heat in if it's cold out. Yeah. So anyway, rock and roll with the transit van.
3.5 EcoBoost. My next adventure, we're gonna be going to Texas Bass Fishing. This will be the accommodations for the week. Subscribe to me. Hey, if you like some of this crazy content, you can hit that subscribe button. For my week efforts. Let them uh, it doesn't matter, it's a creative outlet because I can't draw anymore. I stopped doing that when I was in fourth grade. So now you can let the creative ideas flow and be a van hippie. <laughs> All right. We need some of that, that Bob Marley tea and music. See, I kind of like this right here because you can kind of get up to the front of the van. And then like, you know what I'm saying? There's space you right here. kind of crawl a little bit. And then uh, space. The bike can go underneath here, the mountain bike. Oh, it's how sort of... long do you think this is it is right right here? Just that, not including that. How, how long is it? Yeah. Uh, the Would width, you... well, this is a four by eight. Four by eight. A guesstimate. This is 72 inches long. So, you know, obviously two people sleep in these vans all the time. So, I uh, would have to fill in this part. But like I said, uh, you know, when we go camping, brother, you just get the floor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would work. Yeah. Actually, oh. I would probably, actually, since I'm the heaviest, I would probably put you up here and I would take the floor just to my love for you i wouldn't sense. want you to get hurt i wouldn't want it to somehow collapse on top of you <laughs> that would actually that would ruin the camping trip right yeah and it would be pretty bad yeah yeah we wouldn't want any of that peace well hey i'm pretty excited to go yeah so i'm out